Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. The goal of this channel is to help you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys the quickest way to do a fade in and fade out using DaVinci. Let's go. Okay, so right now we're in DaVinci Resolve. I've already imported the clip into my timeline. It's a PNG because I want to show you guys how this works. So I don't really need a video. Uh, don't forget, you can buy me a coffee if you like my content or you can become a patron to my channel or you can follow me on Instagram at the story of Rico. I would love to connect to you guys there as well. So feel free to send me a message. So what we're going to do right now is if I hit this space bar, this clip is starting to play and it stays the same. There's no fading in, there's no fading out. I'm going to show you guys how to change it right now. So if you move your mouse to the left or to the right side of the clip, you see this handle and you see it over here as well. If you bring this one in and this one as well, let me show you guys what happens to this clip. Now it's slowly starting to fade in now it just stays the same for a few seconds and now you'll see that it'll slowly start to fade out and that's what i use when i end my videos that's what you do for a clip and you can do the same thing for the audio as well so i've deactivated the audio but let me activate that again by clicking this symbol so if you want to mute this all you gotta do is hit the m so right now we're going to play the sound and there's nothing really going on. There's no fading in, there's no fading out. And we're going to change that the exact same way as we did with the bottom clip. So I'm just going to drag this in. I'm going to drag this in as well. And now we're going to maybe a little bit more. Now we're going to play it from the start and listen what happens. And now it's starting to fade out again. And that's the quickest and easy way you can create this effect in DaVinci Resolve. You can use keyframes as well. I've made a different video about that. I'll link it up here. It's the five tips in DaVinci Resolve. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you use this technique in your videos. Comment down below. I would love to talk to you guys. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!